First of all, before we start, uh, my name is Ian Sarit-Bay. I want to talk, tell the first talker who promised cake. The cake is a lie. We just want to solve that so, one. Sorry, ju just a second. Do we have all votes? Have you all voted? You don't have to vote. Don't vote for them. So, and... Do you want the 3D printer? Seriously? I don't know. Is there a 3D printer? Yeah, that's super nice. Oh, cool. I want a 3D printer now. Okay, there we go. Uh, my name okay. is Jan Sretbay. Ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. My name is Jan Sretbay. I'm going to do this really, really, really quick because I know that you all want to go away. Uh, okay. So your work is bad, and you should feel bad. How to deal with cr jerks and critics? Please take note of this text. I won't read it out. So if you can, if you can't, tough shit. Now, most users are awesome people. Most of our users are great people. They're people who will respond back and forth. They're part of a community. They make us feel good, they help us out, and everything. But there are some users that are, to be quite honest, shit. And these people are bad users. And what's the problem with bad users? Why should we care about bad users? I mean, couldn't we just do what we always do and just eh, inter vaguely interact with them? No, the problem is that they often scare away developers. Developers tend to be hounded away until that point when you realize, I don't want to talk on the forums anymore. I don't want to interact with the users because it's simply harassment. That's all it is. And after a while, even the good comments disappear in that sort of slush of nonsense. So this is all about bad users and nothing else. And I've sorted them in into specific categories based on one of the best psychological treaties of all time, obviously Futurama. Um, okay. Uh, and I'm going to go through them all from Amy Wong and backwards all the way to Dr. Soidberg. Now, the first ones are not so important, really, because they're not that scary. But it's the spoiled ones. The ones who really don't care. Really don't care. They just want the stuff. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. It's fine. They, they, they think they, they should be allowed everything as, as fast as possible. When you show them a mock-up, they wonder, oh, where can I download it? Where can I get it? Where can I get it? That's one part. They're not that big of a problem. We'll get to more of these. The second one is the expert. And the expert is more of a problem for you guys than for me, or for, for those of you who are programmers, because for me, I don't have them that much. But I'm guessing you're, you have, I've heard a lot of friends who are programmers who complain that it's these self-styled experts. They never contribute to the code. They just simply tell you that you're crap. How could you have missed this obvious thing? No, I'm not going to edit anything. Go away. And specifically, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. The snobbish, uh, idiots. That's one problem. Then there's the anal. Uh, actually, it's anal retentive, which makes sense. It's the people who, they don't comment on the things that you've done, but if you misspell something, they will hound you to death. They will say, oh, I noticed that you, that's not the right, and suddenly everything becomes about what font you used for your presentation. They're nonsense. But the upside with these people, oh, oh one more. The angry, <laughs> okay. So the angry is my favorite because they're really easy to handle. The angry users or bad users are the ones that will insult you. They won't insult you on a specific reason, but anyone, anyone in this room can get why the angry person is simply nonsense. It's just noise going on in the background. Even though they swear, it doesn't matter. So just ignore these. Uh, and then lastly, of the good ones, by the way, the jerk, also a favorite. The jerk is the one who will go around and tell you it sucks. Not because of a reason, not because they're angry, because it's just fun to tease you, essentially. This is the nicer kind of troll. <laughs> yeah. The solution for all of these above is going, yeah, yeah, the way we treat trolls. <laughs> Let's shut up. You know, don't bother with it. Really don't. Laugh at it. Perhaps joke at them a bit. Do it. It's okay. It's okay. Laugh at their expense. Do it. If they treat you badly, you should treat them badly back. But they're not much of a problem. Okay? But these are the real troubles then. Let's see if I can move forward. That's my hate person. The customer. The customer believes, and this is specific for open source project, the customer believes that simply by participating, he or she is now your customer. He or she, you owe this person something. Something magical. They don't pay you anything, but you owe them. And it always starts out with this. That, oh, this is brilliant. Shut up and take my money. And you go, oh, okay. And uh, it, they always start like this. They're all really happy. They're really pro that you do cool things. But something happens. And they turn into this. 
Uh, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. I can't, I, you can't walk for all the complaints, the vague bug reports, the double bug reports, the frivolous bug reports, if they do bug reports. Because the worst part could be that they can simply go to your blog and write, but I can't open this specific file format. And suddenly, this is all about them. You have to fix this specific issue and nothing else. And they will hound you to death about it. They won't so much complain as they will try to guilt trip you into going, I, I, not they didn't pay you, but I'm a customer here. That sort of attitude. And that's why I don't like them. But the worst one, the one without fail that will get me furious, the murder of all... Oh, by the way, the solution for that one is extreme clarity of roles. I, I know you're all sort of excited about the last one, but let's take this one first. Extreme clarity of roles, beta status, and what can and can't be done. It's really important to do that. The second you see that, you do that, essentially. The second someone says, oh, shut up and take my money, make sure to point out, oh, this is a beta thing, this is open source, this is not for sale, you're sort of a, an accomplice, more or less, you're not a customer. Make sure to do this, and you will actually avoid the troubles in the end, okay? So now we get to my hate, my hate, oh. The loser. You are bad and you should feel bad. Now, the loser is a specific one. I call them the murder of all open source projects. Because they are the people that are so, so pathetic that they will ex actually gain something from calling you shit. Not at, the, at a certain point, they will, we, have, we have examples in KDE of developers who have simply moved away. They don't talk in the forums, they don't comment on bug reports because of these people. And I, I know this suddenly very serious all of a sudden, but because of these people. It's the people who are extremely damaged individuals and who will go to any length to harass you as a developer. And there's the biggest problem because this sort of person will continue to do so until other developers steps up. They will always have a little bit of a glory thing for one developer or something, but, and all the others are shit. And this is where you people, because how many here are developers? Can we have a raise of hands? That's a forest, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> if, if you, for example, sir, are, you're, you're hounded by someone, then, and someone else sees it, call them, oh, call them out at the first opportunity. Say, that's not okay, you can stop that now. And make sure that all other developers, all the people he, he or she might glorify, are part in this, saying that, okay, that's enough, stop. You don't have to be cruel, you don't have to be mean, but you have to be able to say that, because he can't say it. Because if he says, please stop, that means, oh, you're hiding away from the criticism, how dare you? Uh, and, and that's nonsense. So this is up to you, all developers, to actually step up and make sure that this person takes it easy and stop harassing the, the other, other developers. It's extremely important because the second he, I'm, I'm sorry I'm pointing you out here, but the second he moves away and hides away, all his work is gone. He's not going to see the criticism. He will not see the work done so far. He will not see, get the back and forth that is ex essential, more or less. But suddenly, he lost a majority of his work. And the only thing that we can do as developers or designers or members of a group is to step up. And, and take the heat a little bit. And it happens more often than you, you can. I'm sure you've seen thousands of these in threads, in forums, in blogs, in, on Bugzilla, whatever. Step up and actually say it. Say, no, this is not kosher. You cannot do this. So, and that was it. That was my talk. Really fast, really nice, and this is fluffy. All right.